What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, Pixel. He's trying so hard to push that cheese into their hole. What are you guys doing? You guys are so crazy. Oh my goodness. What is happening in my house? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know what... <laughs> What are you doing, Pixel? What are you doing? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Z Crafting. My name is Eros, and we just watched our mice try to put cheese in their little mouse hole. But we're just going to roll with it, okay? We're just going to roll with it. We're not going to ask any questions. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, she's trying to push it again. Now you're pushing that cheese over. I have no idea what's happening anymore. Um, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And it's October. It's the spooky season. So spooky. And this month on Zoo Crafting, we are going to be celebrating nocturnal animals. Which is awesome because we have some nocturnal animals in our wildlife park. Yes, we do. We have some raccoons. And we have our thylacins who are nocturnal animals. So that is very exciting. Um, one exhibit that I might want to make this month is some type of bat exhibit maybe in the little cave area that i showed you guys in a previous episode on our way to the farming area i think that might be a really good place to put some type of like bat cave um but we'll have to see is it raining i think it's raining i don't want it to rain why are you raining stop raining in last episode we dropped off our very unusual horse that we had we had a, a green horse that kind of hung out around this area it's been here for a very long time and we dropped it off to veterinarian Heather and we're going to see what she has to say about this horse um, today. Hopefully she found out some stuff, more information. I'm not really sure why the horse is green. Like, I don't know. Does it need like change its diet or anything? And I also worked on making a brand new veterinarian type of sign. I made a little pixel bunny and like a little like plus sign and I don't know I think it's adorable we have a little pixel bunny on top of our veterinarian clinic which I think is so cute it's so cute I love bunnies guys if you don't know already I absolutely love bunnies so we're gonna go in here and hello Kate how are you doing today um <laughs> I love hitting that bell all right so let's go in here and see what's going on I don't see the horse in any of the Exam rooms. All right, let's see. Oh wow. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, veterinarian Heather, is everything okay in here? Um, how's it going with the horse? Did you do you know why it's green or anything yet? Hello, you Rose. I'm still running some tests on the green horse. As of right now, I'm not sure why the horse is like this. Please come back in a couple of days, and maybe then we will have some answers. Alright, well, I will leave you to it. Um, I mean, it looks happy, at least. And she's getting really up close and, close and personal, trying to figure out what is going on with this horse, and she's going to be running some more tests. So, hopefully, we'll have some answers pretty soon. Um, Alright, so we will leave you guys to it. And let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. It's time to go. And today what I want to do is... Hello, door. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I want to scope out some areas for a place for our little, like, adoption area or our little, like, holding um, place. Because we have tons of animals right now in our backpacks. Let's see. I always forget which backpack I have it in. But we do have... Yes, we have two foxes. We have a rat, we have two goats, and we have a crocodile just, you know, hanging out in our backpacks. And we should probably have a place to put these animals while we figure out if we're going to make them exhibit in the zoo or maybe try to get them adopted somewhere else. So I'm thinking we'll have some type of building for them maybe out in this area. This area is pretty um, overgrown and not very level, so we're definitely going to have to work out the terrain a little bit and like smooth it out but probably somewhere over here I would think and there's poisonous mushrooms no 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 oh and there's a mole <laughs> so that's a good sign so I think that's what we're gonna have to do I'm trying to figure out how I want this to work I like how this pathway goes up a little bit so I think we'll keep it like this and then yeah, I think we're going to have to have the ground kind of like around this level. 
So we're definitely going to have to add in like a bunch more dirt because there's kind of like a little dip down here. And I don't think that's necessarily what we want. I mean, we could actually go down. We can go up maybe a little bit from over here and then we can go back down. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we'll have up and then maybe we'll go back down and like try to like even it out. And maybe we'll have like this area, like a big building. Um, kind of like how Jacob has his QA center where we adopted our little thylacins. I thought that was so cool. So I think we're going to do something like that. So I think we're going to need a lot of dirt to level off the land and such like that. And then maybe we'll actually scope out an area for our bats today. Because I really want to get some bats for our nocturnal month of October. I think bats would re be really cool for our zoo. And, you know, it kind of fits in with the whole spooky October feel and stuff like that. Oh, we didn't say hello to Acorn today. Let's go say hello to Acorn. Where is our wonderful squirrel that we have? I love acorn, and we can actually pick out some of our pumpkins from our pumpkin patch, too. Let's get these. Oh, there's acorn. Hi, acorn! You're so cute. Look at you. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I love acorn. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me get this pumpkin. Gotta get this pumpkin. Um, but let's go over here. Let's get this one. And, oh, there's a couple more kind of like scattered about that we can get. But yeah, so I think we're going to work on that. So I think I'm going to do some work on leveling out the terrain and such. Because it's not very fun to watch me do. Because it kind of takes me a long time to do certain stuff like that. Because I want to make it perfect. And then I'm just like staring at it. And I'm like, hmm. This terrain is pretty level right now. I think that would look very nice for my build. <laughs> so I'm going to gather up some supplies. And do a little bit of work. And see what I come up with. And then I'll probably bring you guys back when I have a little bit more progress done. But we're going to grab... Let's see. Let's see. We want to get some dirt. We're going to get some dirt. Do a little bit more leveling. And we're going to get some grass. And oh, looks like we got a little acorn from acorn. That is so adorable. But yeah, so I will see you guys in a little bit after I do some work. I'm going to eat this muffin. And I'm going to create something beautiful that comes out of my mind, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Don't expect too much, though. <laughs> I mean, expect all the things, maybe. I don't know. Hi, I'm e Rose. Bye. Oh, Lucky, look at you. You're so cute. You're so cute. I'm so glad you're adjusting well to your new sisters. We have Daisy and Poppy over here. And I just wanted to step in and say hello. Make sure you guys were doing okay. Um, but we're going to head back to the area that I've been working on. And <laughs> I've, it's been some time, guys. It's been a couple hours since um, I first recorded. And I've been working on terraforming that area and where I want to actually put our little adoption slash holding center. Um, probably more of a holding center. Um, maybe we'll have a separate adoption. I don't really know what we're going to do. But all as I know is I have animals in my backpack and I don't want to have animals in my backpack and I want to have a place to put them. So I've been working in a, a little area over there and I came up with an idea of actually putting it in the side of the mountain kind of like how we have our mushroom cafe kind of like halfway inside of the mountain like that so i'll show you guys what we mean in just a second but hello mr hoppers how are you doing today um and i still love oh, i love our little vet sign look it's so cute little bun bun little bun bun sign um but if we come over here i have made a path and i love these mushrooms here because i absolutely love them it's like a little entrance way um, but if you come over here, I've worked on making some paths, and we have a pathway that leads down here. And originally, I thought I'd put the, like, adoption center probably somewhere down here, but I decided against it. Um, and this pathway actually leads to, um, an original pathway that we already had, and if you look really closely over there, that is actually where we have our thylacins. So, we're connecting some pathways together, um, which is very nice, and... Over there is where I think we're going to have our little holding center for the animals that we have. And we're going to have a, like an entrance way out here and then go into the mountain a little bit more. So we have more room so we can have as many um, areas as we want. And it doesn't look like we have a gigantic huge building. We just have it all in a mountain. And I definitely like the trees right here. Like I like these two trees so I want to keep them. So we'll probably like figure out some way to keep those. I don't know. I really like them. Um, but I have some supplies here and 
I don't really know what I want to use. I want to keep with the theme. Um, a lot of the, like, what is it? Like, proper buildings, like, not habitat buildings, have marble. Um, and we're using a lot of the paper walls and a lot of this dark oak planks and, like, carpenter slopes and things like that. So I definitely want to keep with the theme of that. So I think... And a lot of times I'll use these carpenter blocks as kind of like placeholders of like the shape of the building that I want, which is what I did here. So let's go like this and we're going to kind of plan out how we want the entrance way to kind of look. And I think we're going to have these oak planks or oak logs actually, oak logs, um, as the base, similar to what we did with the veterinarian clinic area. Um, but let's break this. Why is this? Oh my gosh, it's gonna break. It's gonna. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't do that because if I continued with the axe, it probably would have got rid of all of these. So we're just gonna we're gonna punch it to death. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right, so let's break this and this over here, and we can actually just place it like that. There we go. And all right, so I have something like this, and I have this wooden glass door that I'm gonna use because I really like these doors. These doors are so cool. I don't know, I'm just so amazed. It's just like, no, ah! it's like magical. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to continue with like the marble that we have here or maybe something similar to like maybe Dex's office or our little like ATM area. Do you see how we have like the paper walls like that? So we'll have to figure out what we want to do with that. And I'm going to drink some tea, a delicious cup of tea in the morning. Actually, it's in the afternoon now. It's not morning anymore. Um, Alright, so let's see. Do we want to have paper walls or do we want to have marble for this? I really, I don't know. I really love the paper walls. <laughs> they look so cool. I'm just amazed. Let's go and collect some of this stuff. And, oh yeah, we can continue on with the oak wood right here too. And this does not belong here. So let's punch that so we don't, like, ruin everything that we have. Yeah, I definitely want to keep the trees. We might, like, cut the bottom of the trees if we need to. And keep the top, like, on top of the roof. But we'll see what we do. And then let's put this here. And then let's see. Let's do this side with the marble. And we can kind of decide if we want to use marble or paper walls. And let's go like this. And... Hmm... I don't know. Or wait, should we do like a mixture of both, maybe? <laughs> should we do like a paper wall, then marble, oops. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, there we go. Okay, and let's break these. And what if we do like, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, we could kind of maybe do like a mixture. We'll see. I may end up changing this um, as I work on it a little bit more off camera, but just trying to work some stuff on camera with you guys today since I did a lot of off camera, but it was just really boring, like terraforming type of stuff. Um, but let's go like this and go like that and do, there we go. And then we'll put this one over here as like the paper wall and hopefully this is going to look pretty good. Um, oops. <laughs> And let's use this, and yeah. Let's get some of this, and let's see how this is looking. Ooh, it's quite fancy. It's quite fancy, I think. I think we'll keep it like that, maybe. Um, and we'll have, like, we'll have this there. And then we'll definitely have, let's see, let me go up a little bit. We'll definitely have some slope, slope action going on, like how we have with a lot of our buildings. Um, let's see, a little bit more blockage there we go and we'll probably keep oops something like that and then we will have the dark oak um wood planks that we normally have for like the roof like so and yeah i think that's gonna look really nice and it's gonna be kind of like built into the mountain and we'll have like the trees on top maybe we'll have a little bit of a mixture of a grass roof or something too
So here we are. I do a little bit more work on the roof. And I'm really excited to get this, <laughs> get this well done going. I think it's going to look really awesome. So I think what I'm going to do is actually do some work off camera and work on the inside a little bit and kind of design where we want to put our animals. Um, but I am going to need a couple employees for this building. Yes, yes, yes. So if you want to be an employee of this building, what I want you guys to do is leave a comment down in the just comment section down below and tell me either you have an option for this one. Because <laughs> I'll probably have a couple of different employees too, so I'll probably pick from different ones. But... Option number one is you can tell me what you want to be for Halloween this year, or if you were going to dress up, what would you want to be? And option number two is you can leave me a suggestion for what I should actually name this building. Like, it's going to be like our holding center, and maybe adoption center, I'm not sure yet. Um, and our park is called the Rosarium Wildlife Park, too, so maybe that will help you guys come up with some names of what we should actually name this building, but I need a proper name because I'm always like, maybe a holding room? Maybe adoption center place? I don't know. So if one of you guys can come up with a really awesome name, I will let you be an employee inside of this building, and if one of you um, tell me what you want to be for Halloween, I will put your name into a random draw, and I will pick you to be an employee inside the said building, which hopefully we will have a name for. But yeah, so I'm going to do a lot of work off camera and let me know if you have any suggestions for things that I should do inside the building. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!